everybody constantly asks me what to choose for roles, like how to choose a role, what makes a role good, what makes a role bad. And there's, I think, a lot of things that go into this. And it's something that takes a little bit of time to develop an understanding of, of what makes or breaks a role. I think there's a couple main components in what you should look for for a role. Uh, the biggest being that you need good tanks, you need a DPS option, you need an opener, you need a transitional unit, and you need a, potentially a late game unit, right? Uh, so the biggest thing for me when it comes to tanks is you usually want to have a tank of two different types. So for me in this individual role, something along the lines of Berserker and Grarl, I think can suffice for two different types of tanks. If you wanted to get rid of in this situation, Grarl for Holy Avenger, I think that's also a valid option as Holy Avenger and Grarl then can still be your tank line. I wouldn't classify Grarl as a great tank, but it would suffice in a role for tanks in general. Traditionally, you want something that's good or decent on magic waves. So Arcane, potentially Fortified or Swift, you know, one of those three for magic. And then you want something along the lines of a counter to that. Something along the lines of, if you, if you have an Arcane unit, you'd probably like a Natural. If you have a Fortified, you probably want Swift. Um, fortified and natural can work, but it's not, again, necessarily the best combination. Then the next thing you really need to find out is it's what's your damage dealing unit, uh, whether that be damage dealing in the early game, damage dealing in the mid game, or damage dealing in the late game, right? And so sometimes you can get away with units that may not be great early uh, for tanking if you have a good damage to carry you and vice versa. So in this situation, I'm looking at what I've got for damage dealing units. I've got Sakura, which is a good opportunity to scale for damage as well as tank, right? Um, I've got uh, Nikomata for the very early game. I've got Tempests, which could be a little bit of your early game damage and tank combination. You've got a Radiant Halo, which is extremely good damage when combined with Tempest, but is not necessarily a large wave clear and more of a single target. And you could theoretically argue something like Zerker, Soulgate, or Avenger could satisfy a damage situation, but not necessarily cover all of your damage, especially early game. Now, the thing about rolls is you need something that gets you going, right? And so in this situation, um, I try to always, with cash out especially, look for a five worker open if you can find one. Now, to me, you have quite a few different options with this role. You could go Holy Avenger, which is going to basically carry you all the way till wave five, and you can probably push five, six workers pretty easily. You got something like Nico Mata. Nico Mata is really good as an opener because it's going to traditionally hold you one through four pretty easily and allows for a five, if not six worker open if they send you on one with cash out. You've got a Grarl, which can give you flexibility on where you want to pivot and transition uh, in the early game as well. Um, and as well as you could potentially go seedling. Um, into Sakura. Sakura is a pretty good opener, in my opinion, for low elo, as the generalized option is to just look forward to the future, right? You're trying to overbuild, you're trying to scale with something like a uh, seedling into Sakura. Now, the mid game options in this role, to me, are what starts to get a little spicy. I like this option potentially a lot in the sense that you've got something like Grarl, which could go into Ocean Templar, as well as Soulgate, which are extremely strong if you can get through some of those transitional periods in the early game. This allows you to have um, a pretty good mid to late game if you can scale with sufficient income to keep Soul Gates viable. There's also the opportunity to go something along the lines of Tempest with Radiant Halo in this situation, um, giving you quite a bit of mid game damage dealing, especially when mid game there's a little bit less spam you have to worry about. I'm not a huge fan of Radiant Halo open for the sole reason that by wave seven, it kind of falters a little bit in its damage and you need something to help assist you in that situation. And then uh, when you start looking at like, okay, if I'm going to get make, take this game late, where am I looking? In my opinion, you want to find a high cost traditionally tier five or tier six that is going to be able to be kind of your money sink 
if you spend all of your gold on a specific unit, can it carry you? In this situation, if you have a Grarl with, again, Soulgate, you can very easily scale and continue to hold some pretty incredible sends as the game progresses. But because you have a pretty strong late game, that means that they might try to go in for an all-in on you early. You might need to play around the fact that while you have a good late, someone may see your role and say, I don't want this to go late and try to damage you early, right? So you got to play around the fact of what your role provides. And I think um, coming up with a custom game plan, each individual game is important based on what you receive. Certain roles are going to give you better opportunities to go late game. Certain roles are going to give you better opportunities to starve. Um, certain roles are going to just give you different options throughout the match. So I think personally, this is a pretty aggressive opener. Hypothetically, if you wanted to go like Nikomadas or Tempest, you have a lot of opportunity to go really, really high worker really quickly. But that doesn't necessarily mean every role is going to be that way. For instance, in this role, you've got something like the fact that you could theoretically go probably Zeus, um, Zeus into Wildstrom on three, you've got Sakura again, but in this spot, maybe let's say you're not very good with Zeus, you might have to open Sand Badger. And if you open Sand Badger, then you need to worry a little bit about four. Um, you know, there's, there's op options and opportunities here, but not everything's gonna work every time. You could theoretically go Tempest into Wildstrom and um, something like this, you know, something in this positioning. Um, could work moderately well uh, if you wanted to um, if you want to go higher worker push, uh, but you don't necessarily like Zeus. The only downside of this is you're going to be pretty weak on four, which then you need to plan accordingly for your weaknesses. Do you have anything in this role that looks like it's going to hold four? No, then you might not want to go this option. You know, um, let's see here. We do cash out again. Uh, this situation, we've got uh, Cursed Casket open, which in my opinion is pretty strong. We've also got Yazora open um, with Desert Pilgrim. Both extremely good opening opportunities there. Um, I would say your, your mid game could be a little bit suspect here. Um, you know, somewhere around the 7 to, to 12 range might be a little hard if you don't have the sufficient income to get something like a Great Boar down early enough or you're not able to get enough damage out um, for wave seven, for instance. Um, let's say you didn't want casket for whatever reason, you know, you don't want another tank unit and you pick infiltrator. Well, where's your seven damage, right? Um, you need to plan for those types of things. And so I think this is kind of where role selection becomes more of an art and a craft because it depends on how you want to play the rollout. Um, and I think this is where it gets to be kind of complicated, but I think this kind of gives you a decent overview of what options there are when it comes to role selection. And I hope this kind of gives you an understanding of like the, the baselines for what you should be looking for when you are selecting your role. And so that's probably like the cutoff point for that portion of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick guide. If so, please make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below on other things you'd like to see in the future. It helps me out a ton because then I can understand what it is you guys are looking for, as well as understand if there's any clarification that's needed going forward. As always, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.